Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present project deals with the airflow and the HAWT blades and the purpose of this problem is to study the distribution of velocity and pressure on the surface of the blade and on their body. There are three areas around the blade for airflow. There is an area around the blade, an area in front of the blade and an area behind the blade. The airflow behaves normally in front and behind the blades, while in the area around the blades, the rotational motion of the blade causes the flow to rotate. The present 3D model is designed by SOLIDWORKS software and imported to design modular software. The present turbine has three blades, a rotary axis, and a domain around the blades. The mesh type for this project is and structured triangular mesh and was carried out by ANSYS meshing software. The total element number is equal to 4,270,222. For this project we have used the SSD K Omega model since it is more accurate and reliable for a class of flows like uh, adverse pressure gradient flows, flows over airfoils and transonic shock waves. After double clicking on the rotor option under the cell zone condition, a new window will appear. In this window, we enable the frame motion option, which enables the rotation of the turbine blades. In the open window, in the rotational velocity section, we enter the speed of rotation, which in this project is equal to 191 RPM. All the other boundaries except interior ones are considered to be wall type boundaries. For these wall type boundaries, the wall motion is defined as a stationary wall. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that the, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. For example, the pressure discretization is defined to be second order or for the momentum second order upwind. Also, you can change this discretization into other formats like you can change them into you can change them into first order upwind. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and uh, nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that and equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence but the residual must be checked as well. For example, we want to extract pressure contour on the turbine blade. On the domain section, we click on rotor domain, and the location, we click on turbine blade. We also set the variable as pressure, because we are, just like before, in the domain section, we choose rotor domain, and for the location of uh, our velocity contours, in this part, we select the interior part of the rotor domain because we want to see the velocity vectors of airflow flowing inside this domain. It is clearly shown in the velocity vector contour that airflow has rotated inside this rotor domain. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mester CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at